Artists should expect to receive new royalties that reflect the realities of the economy. However, this is only meant to be applicable from mid next year. This is according to the Performing and Audiovisual Society of Kenya, Pavrisk. It is part of the plan to smooth out the copyright collection and distribution process, in addition to the onboarding of liquor traders and bar owners in royalties collection. This has been bolstered through the mid-August signing of a memorandum of understanding between Perak and Metropolitan Liquor Traders Association, Melta, as well as the Pubs, Entertainment and Restaurants Association of Kenya, that's Perak, granting the two business business bodies the authority to collect royalties on behalf of artists. My brother on the other side said, just as recently as two weeks ago, we are having people who don't even have a license to collect. Seriously, 52 million is a lot of money. How many artists? We are tired of hearing artists getting 11 shillings, 13 shillings, 8 bob. You cannot even remove that money from Mpesa, seriously. So now we are going on the ground, hand in hand with our brothers here at Pavrisk, to make sure we collect the money that you can hear even the worst paid musician has got something that they can at least pay rent and feed their families with. We are actively engaging with users to ensure their feedback is incorporated into the new tariff structure. Uh, Pavrisk is fully licensed during a period when other institutions are facing challenges. We want to remind the public and stakeholders that any entity wishing to operate as a CMO must first obtain a valid registration certificate from Kenya Copyright Board Kekobo, as stipulated uh, through Section 46.2 of the Copyright Act. All right, and that's where we wrap it up on NTV tonight. Thank you for your valid company. On the sign language interpretation bit with me this evening was David Agondoa. My name is Zainab Ismail. Good night. <laughs>